Hi, this is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. We're going to take a gusseted cellophane bag, put some treats in it, and then decorate it like a bunny. So let me walk you through this project. The first step is to take your bag and put your choice of treats in it. I'm using a 4 inch by 10 inch a gusseted cellophane bag. This one is from Stampin' Up! And inside of this one, I used the bunny shaped marshmallows that are out in the spring. If you can't find those and you want to use marshmallows, you could just use the small pastel ones, or any white or pastel candy would be cute in here. And so let's talk about how we're going to decorate it. I started by tying, once I put my treats in my bag, I tied a ribbon nice and tight. I used a 3 quarter inch wide ribbon. This one is the Chevron Blushing Bride because it matches my cardstock. And I used about 10 to 12 inches to do this. And you want to get that nice and tight and you want to shove it down so that it's close to what your treats that are in the bag so that your uh, bunny doesn't end up with a gooseneck, a long skinny neck. And let's talk about our bunny now. Most of the bunny was done with the uh, oval framelits from Stampin' Up! You could use another brand of ovals. Let me give you the sizes. I actually only used two. Uh, for this, the majority of this project and then I did the rest with some punches. So the two sizes I used are what I call number one, which is the smallest, and number three, which is the third from smallest. Number one measures at one and a quarter by two and three sixteenths, and number three measures two and an eighth by three and one sixteenth. And you could use something similar to that. So we've got our two ovals cut with number three for the head front and back, and then I also cut two ovals with the number three oval, and these are for the ears. Now you might notice that the ears are pointed. So I've got my big shot die cut machine into the picture here. So I laid my ovals after cutting them out back onto my mag magnetic platform onto my uh, cutting pad, and then I laid the number three oval die back over the cutout and leaving, I don't know, what I would call sort of a moon shape over here. So it's a little bit more than you would think, so you want to make sure that your um, finished size is going to be about the right size for a bunny ear, but that's going to give you that nice point at the top. So we'll go ahead and send that through our Big Shot. And my cardstock was thin enough that I was able to cut both pieces at the same time. I was using the Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock. So these two pieces I'm just going to discard and these pieces now make the perfect bunny ears. So the number one oval framelit I used for our bunny's feet. So again I cut out two and I did just cut them in one go so stack two pieces on top of each other and cut them out and those will form the feet and then also the egg um, was cut with that same number one template. So just take some pattern paper that has fun pastel colors. This is the Stampin' Up! Best Year Ever from the Free Celebration Selection and that's going to be my Easter egg. And then you can use any greeting of choice across there. Happy Easter would be cute. Uh, his little paws I've done with a punch. That's the small oval punch. This one is 3 quarter inch by 15 16 inch. And then on the toes, I used the half inch circle punch. So I have some tips for you on drawing the face. You can do the face uh, freehand like I did here. Or if you want the um, face to be a little more uniform, the sides of the mouth to match and the eyes, you can use a template or a cheat. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use a half inch circle punch for that shape, but I'm going to start with um, my nose because I find it easier to draw the rest of the face once I have the nose in place. So I've got the nose down there and I'm ready to draw my mouth. I'm going to take a half inch circle punch and I'm just going to place it right at the base of that small heart. And I'm going to use it for a template to draw the curve of the bunny's mouth. So I've got my mouth drawn and I'm just going to make the little curve at the edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my eyes right now. Again, I'm going to use the same template. So uh, this time I'll put my um, circle at the top of my heart.
And then I'll go ahead and add my eyelashes. And then just some eyebrows up here. And the last thing we want to do for the face is add the cheeks. So I'm going to use a little sponge dauber for that. And the Blushing Bright ink so that it'll match my cardstock. And I like the sponge daubers for this because they give you that perfect circle. Let's give it a little twist. And there you've got your bunny face. It's going to be a little bit different every time and that's just fine. So we're ready to put our project together. So we're going to go back to those ears that we cut out. For the inside of the ears I punched out uh, two uh, ovals and this time I use the one and three quarter by seven eighths inch oval punch for that. So there we have our bunny face and now I'm going to do uh, just the back of the head. I'm going to take that other uh, oval that we cut out, the number three oval, and I'm going to just uh, use some dimensionals, if you can see inside here, one on each edge to make sort of a sandwich and then I'll be able to slide that right over that gusseted top of my bag. The reason I did that is when I take the time to make a project like this, I try to make it so the recipient is able to open it and get the treats out with complete, without completely destroying the project. That's just my pride a little bit showing there. When I spend time I don't want them to shred it. So I designed this so that you can just slide the head off of the bag and easily access the treat. And then to finish your project, you're going to put the two small oval punches that form our paws. And again, that's 3 quarters by 15 16 inches of the size of that oval. I used the marker again to draw the detail on the paws. And I actually did use um, a half inch circle again as a little template there just to get them uniform. And I attached everything to my bag here with glue dots. Uh, the toes on the feet, of course, are the half inch circle punch and those are uh, attached with glue dots and then the feet are attached with glue dots. The last little thing we're going to do on our bag here is we're going to add a tail, of course, on the back. To do the tail, I just used a regular cotton ball and some liquid glue. And I would recommend you make this the last thing you do on your project so that it can just lay just like this and dry overnight because it can take a while for that liquid glue to dry on that cellophane bag. But just pop on your tail and your project is all ready. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have fun making your bunny bag to give to your family and friends.